Hello my Sock Universe to part 3 of this season's uh, Premier League, I was about to say Champions League, Premier League jersey review. Yeah, three parts in. Again, I shuffled around a few more shirts for you to figure out and I'm wearing this one, I'll wear West Ham, which will come in handy because we have two teams with very similar uh, color schemes in there, of course. Should know by now who those are but if not you will see very soon uh, again how did i choose the jersey in this video i took last season standings and then i went one two three four four three two one and every team with a number three next to it is in this video and then i sorted them somewhat alphabetically and that's why we start in birmingham at aston villa which is of course the other team that has uh this maroon uh, light blue color color scheme, the original team. They are the only Kappa team this in this year's Premier League. Um, and yeah, I'm not too hot on this one. I'm sponsor. I told you already with Ever Everton, it's one of my favorite sponsors out there. I think Kazoo looks just perfect. This is a wonderful sponsor. Uh, I do like that they have this color scheme in there, but um, a little bit like this umber shirt, I find the way, and it's even more pronounced here, I find the way that the uh, raglan sleeves connect with the back, it creates this weird point here, which to me does not look super attractive overall. Uh, this jersey is safe because it, it still keeps kind of the vested look, which this one does not have. So. Uh, that is already one down uh, and then your yeah, color is fine but what is this weird pattern striping I think this makes it too much I think if you would have left it plain I actually could have gotten on board uh, with it more than I would have just looked over the sleeves and said all right but to me there's a little bit too much going on there it's not one of my favorite my favorites but it's not bad per se as well so I'm gonna go five stars here uh much better similar with burnley but i think it's uh they just chose the maroon in a way here pinstriping <laughs> you cannot go wrong with pinstriping minus points for the box but other than that uh really pleasing really nice nicely done full color crest though that would have been nice you know just add a little bit light blue and i think uh, it doesn't look bad here either i think it looks all very cohesive to be honest but just saying uh get the other color in there as well. I think my ideal would be if each of the maroon stripes was then in the center of it had also a light blue one. That would be even more perfect. But yeah, nice looking shirt. Gonna go seven. Here, uh, the third jersey though is one of those. I mean, uh, Aston Villa has, has now a story with third jerseys that are kind of a little bit out there. What saves it, of course, for me is I always like navy. Uh, this very ivory, or color or whatever you know it's kind of it's not quite white but it's not quite yellow either um, yeah <laughs> yeah it looks nice what I would have liked is maybe a reversal of the home jersey sounds something like that. the pattern is all right uh, it's a very pleasing looking jersey but it doesn't look very Aston Villa to me but I guess I'll go more on the pleasing side and so I'm gonna give this six stars for that uh if this was a team that had kind of one of these colors in the color scheme this would be a much uh, higher rated shirt that's for sure moving on to the next team crystal palace again with puma again a little bit out there um and yeah puma last season i did like those shirts but many people did did not i actually do like what Walter are doing here with kind of the slanted red and blue stripes i mean it's not like this one here it's kind of uh, really Barcelona. I like the slanted look a little bit. It gives out uh, something different. It also has this kind of weird taping effect in there by th that the blue is outlined with kind of a darker blue, uh, which you need kind of to make the blue a little bit wider because the sleeves are red. So kind of uh, balancing it all out. It's a bit out there. I still love the sponsor. The sponsor is very simple, though two lines, but even the, the, the upper W fits kind of nicely with the shirt overall. And you can see even the angles are matching up. The angles of W match very, very, very nicely with the angles of the uh, stripe. So that's a pretty nice touch. Um, it's definitely not everyone's taste. Uh, it's 
a bit weird, but over I don't think it's bad. I'm also gonna go six stars here. But the other two shirts for Chris Chris are a whole lot better, I have to say. Um, not only because of the plain design, you know, yellow with red, red and blue. I mean, this is a classic Barca away shirt, which will always please me. It's very bold, it looks very nice. And also the sponsor, you see the yellow outline, looks all great. But the coup de gras in many ways is that there is the Eagle from the Crest as an overall print next to the sash, uh, next to the uh, band. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, I love this shirt. Gonna give this nine stars. It is really, really well done. And uh, third jersey um, does not stand much behind because uh, this is the kind of the original Crystal Palace look in white and light blue. So historically reference, which is perfect for a third jersey. And then I can even live with the discolored crest because you want it to kind of fit with the whole thing. And then you have the Crystal Palace. I mean, you have the the thing that uh, named your team is right in there as well. Great tribute. Everything that I want is in there. I'm not gonna say it's nine stars. I even like how the sleeves on one side are light blue and the other side are white. Those are two really great shirts. I gotta give it, I gotta give a whole lot of credit for Puma. The home shirt again is the one that is probably the most divisive one. Uh -huh, maybe similar to what they did last season in, in a way. I, I really like them. So let's go to the seeded team here, which is of course Liverpool. And yeah, Nike delivered something quirky. Second Liverpool shirt by Nike. And while the first one was uh, kind of, you know, don't upset anyone too much, take a little bit red and then you add some uh, turquoise for a good measure. It was, you know, what you wanted to kind of see. This one takes a whole different approach. And to be honest, I don't even dislike all, you know, we have a lot of diagonal bands going here. I even don't dislike this with the kind of more rosy red in there. Uh, it actually looks somewhat interesting. I'm not sure if it needed to have the flash pattern, but yeah, so be it. I'm also right with the, again, ivory uh, colored logos. What really gets me, and I know it's such a small detail, but it is the rest of the shirt for me because it makes no sense whatsoever, is what's here on the back. What is this dark green thing? I mean, the only thing I will connect, as we will see, is, is the um, away jersey. It does not make any sense. It, it actually ruins the shirt because it's so random on there. Yes, the color scheme. Maybe this whole thing, instead of uh, this rosy color using some white, I actually think would have, in my opinion, looked better. But we can discuss uh, that. And if you've seen the video of the, uh, or if you know the 1920 20 shirt, I think if you put the swoosh and the um, lima bird in gold, I think is awesome. This would be a way to make this jersey still a little bit out there, but a little bit more different. But yeah. I cannot say this is a great Liverpool shirt. It does not really look much like a Liverpool shirt. And so I'm sorry to uh, go three. I think Nike really, really has not hit, uh, hit it well with Liverpool. I mean, the away shirt is almost everything I would love in a Liverpool away shirt. Uh, except I would love that instead of the greenish uh, color used for the color and so on, that they use black. That is my only complaint with that one. I think that would make make this shirt look a whole lot better. However, with the green, we get a nice Bulgaria flag in there, which you know is always gonna please me as well. But I otherwise I do like it. There's a whole lot to like about the, the this one. Choice choice of colors a little bit odd. Uh, but the one that, if you've seen it uh, at, at the big win at United, this looks classic Liverpool away. I'm gonna go eight stars with this one. I think that one is overall a winner. And then the third shirt, I gotta say, is a little bit divisive. I know what they wanted to do. I mean, a yellow Liverpool shirt is something that at least I have been waiting for for a while. Uh, so that is already pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It's uh, very much classic Liverpool. However, this checkered pattern... <sighs> I have seen it all red. Then this shirt looks boring. I have seen it because they want to replicate, of course, the pattern that I think the fans use, like red and white checkers. I've seen it with that, it looks equally weird, if not weirder. So yeah, I guess that's it. We gotta go with it. 
Um, but just for the pure fact that we have a yellow Liverpool shirt, I'm gonna give this seven. But I don't know. I have no real suggestion of how this could have been done better. But it also doesn't look quite right. Seven it is. I, I, I would say again, away jerseys. We have seen this a few times. Kind of saving the overall set in this video. Let's go and now I'm kind of willing to say smallest brand, Kelme. Although, Castore, maybe? We'll see. Uh, Kelme has delivered a really, really, really uh, interesting set for Watford, I gotta say. Uh, it just doesn't look quite Watford. <laughs> Uh, it looks a little bit like bees. Uh, I think Watford I like better if it's just a plain yellow and then just have some uh, black accents, maybe some red accents. That honestly looks downright weird to me. And so yeah, uh, where shall I go with this one? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go down the middle, five stars for Watford here, because I, it's not bad, but it's also not really great, to be honest. So yeah, I think that is probably the right way to go here. Uh, let's look at the away jersey. Uh, uh, yeah, this looks more Watford. I actually think if you would flip-flop the yellow and the red, and that was your Watford home, I actually would like it a whole lot. Uh, sponsor should be in yellow. I feel very strongly about it. The white doesn't look quite right. But I think it's a much more useful shirt and so I'm gonna go six here. Um, but uh, not more than that. And then the away jersey tries something interesting but it doesn't come off well. Uh, this goes more in the ugly pile. Um, so three stars here. Sorry, Kelme, I really would love to give you higher grades, but for some reason it just does not quite work for me. And then we're at the feature team, uh, the team that I'm wearing, which is of course West Ham, the uh, new uh, second pride of London. And they also decided to kind of ditch the traditional look uh, and go with kind of the early 2000s look, where we're just uh, blue is on the sleeves here i have to say umber overall delivered on the uh, on this one this very much looks to me like the doc martin shirt i totally love the color uh and how it plays with the same pattern you have the maroon white and the blue and then you have blue white and maroon on the shirt so that actually works really well and it's mirrored on the sleeve cuff so very well done there i just cannot get on board for west ham with this look i think the sleeves should be the all blue i don't like this half and half just imagine if Arsenal would pull out some sound like that. The outcry would be huge. And so yeah, very well done. Sponsor, everything fits really, really, really well. Um, it's just not Western for me. And so yeah, um, I still I'm gonna give this eight stars because I think it's uh all over, over it's very well delivered. Uh, I, I like the away shirt because it has a kind of traditional look uh, despite the um, uh, light blue stripes being uh, have, have, having this kind of diagonal shading in there and there's a little bit more going on which I cannot really make out because not all there's not all shading there's also some solid blocks in there so kind of a little bit of fade effect um, deductions for the box other than that pretty nice Pretty, pretty nice. I'm also gonna go ace, 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 ace this here. Uh, you know, whenever you have a secondary color that is, you know, you have dark and light, use the lighter one and then with white it really makes a great away jersey that fits very well also kind of with the home jersey in a way. The home jersey goes a little bit back to like 20 years and the other one this goes really uh, back in history. Uh, and the third jersey, yes, navy, but it refrains from gold because we had last season the black and the gold one which looked really re re nice but it uses kind of also the idea with the maroon and the light blue it takes out the white which might be interesting to add i think the color look looks a little bit weird with, with the front but other than that i really like that you take a different color but you still have the club's color this is textbook for a third jersey honestly i absolutely love this one and yeah I thought that other t another team will have a better set, but overall, I have to say, the West Ham set looks really nice. I'm also gonna go ATL. Very, very consistent. Uh, well done. 
befitting of a team that is really hitting a high water mark at the moment, at least when it comes to Premier League history. So yeah, that's it for me from part three. Uh, please let, let me know which shirts you liked in, in this video um, and where you disagree with me, especially I will of course pull out the poll again uh, very, very, uh, very soon where you can vote on which set did you like best. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.